Good morning. Hey, check this out. I got a Gertie. Beep, 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 boop, beep, boop, ba, boop, boop, beep. My hair is still... One day it will be not green. One day. Look! It's a Gertie! It's so square. Yes, yes. It's, uh... It's considerably cheaper because it's so square. Well, rectangular, really. Um, no, no wood bending and all that. Your body's here for the Madeline. Look at this. Getting started on the hurdy gurdy. Uh, we're gonna go through like everything they sent me, and I'll I'll walk you through the gurdy too and how it works. And it's cool. It's really cool. Like the patterns on it. Those are sound holes. Sound holes. An expert such as yourself doesn't need that book. That's true. Alter Wind Instruments. Alterwind.com. For all your Gertie needs. Well, if you want this Gertie. Um, for sounding. Yeah, it's like the hole on acoustic guitar. But that one looks cool. Can you clap it for percussion? You can clap anything for percussion. You know. Hands. Cheeks. Um... <laughs> this music. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Where are my things? Here's my things. So this Gertie came with the Gertie. Came with a nice case. I don't know that this is... I don't know if this is an official Gertie case, but it's square and it's nice and, and padded so I can carry it around. Um, and it came with some necessary implements like rosin, cotton, and a little Allen wrench, which uh, we'll use in a bit. Am I gonna name my first daughter Gertie? Nope. Silver Butterfly, eight months. Is Conan worth the buy if you can only afford base game and one DLC? Yes, 100%. 99, okay, not 99. All but one of the DLCs is just cosmetics. Have you named your Gertie? No. No, I have not. I had not thought of that once. What about Hurdy? Sounds good. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and it came with some little trinkets that maybe they broke off or something and we need to replace them. But I'm happy to say it came and it is in perfect shape-ish. <laughs> it's, it's in great shape. Crew or Blitz 100 months. St. Jerdy, 100. Can I get some subwoofers for 100 centuries? I will custom woof, 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 woof. Maybe it's spares? It is that. It is spares for if I... If anything breaks off and I need to replace it. <laughs> yeah. It's replacement parts if things go wrong. Um, yeah, it's got some of the... Well, I'll show you. I'll show you this GERD. Let's see. It's the best way to do this. Hmm. Hey, Jess, how's it going? The start of a DIY kit. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. Okay. Oh, you can't see anymore. We're going to pop this down a hair. Nice. So this is the Hurdy Gurdy. This is a Madeline is the name of the, the um, model. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. These are the switches, which are how you place uh, different notes. And this bad boy opens up. As you can see, it's exactly like the one we made. Sounds a little bit better though. Here's the one we made. I heard something crush.
Which honestly, and I, I'm making it sound worse than it is because uh, it hasn't been maintained since we built it. Uh, I knew nothing about Hurdy Gurdies. It's a $60 or something like that DIY kit. This thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. This is a U Gears kit and it's fully functional. And you could actually play stuff on it and it would sound not too bad. Also, the strings are fishing line. Now, this bad boy sounds better than the actual day it was built. Interesting. So I've got the same mechanism where you push this, the switches and it'll basically just pull on the strings as if you were fretting a guitar. It just sends these little pegs forward. And those are some of the replacement parts that we have. This Gertie has four strings. Here's the crank down over here. Where is it? There it is. So this is, let me see. You have to actually manually engage or disengage the strings on this model, uh, which is to say that you actually have to just pull the string. There's little like pegs that, for example, this red string is engaged right now. It's up against the wheel, but if we want to turn it off, Alright, just slip it around that little peg that is blurry, but you can see it. And now, when you spin it, that string will not play. So that that works for all of the... All of the strings can be turned off. There are two drone strings and two melody strings on this bad boy. Dan SPG, 56 months, welcome back. Zarant, 30 months, welcome back as well. Playing that on a desk chair seems uncomfortable, we'd be changing seats. Uh, it works actually okay. I mean, I can stand up also because it's got straps for our pegs for a guitar strap. And I had an extra guitar strap, so well, you can't see anything. Yeah. I expected as so I much. So I got a guitar me. strap on there and we can play standing up if we want. This is the. This is the back of the Gertie. Let me bring this down here. This is not the song. Here you go, this is what the back looks like. This is actually what you look at while you play the Gertie. Turnip Daddy, thanks for gifting a sub. Had me at straps and pegs. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, so this is a little strip that they had in the book they were like take this out tape it on here and it'll line up more or less with the the peg so as you press on the notes you'll see them like jut out of the the body of the thing so you can kind of see where you're pressing right now they they don't fall back because it's intended to be just gravity will just pull them down but it's flat of course um so I know you guys probably want to hear it, right? Let me turn, let me turn this off. I'm in the process of still like figuring out and finding all the girdy music that I can. That's kind of the that's that's like my current step. Also, there are typically two different tunings for hurdy gurdy. Yeah. This one is G C tuning, and what that means. Uh, for the actual string tuning is ah. we've got the two melody strings are actually both G4 so they're the same octave and they're just a G and this drone string this red one is a G3, so one octave lower than the melody strings. This one is also called a trompet, and what that means is you can use it, you can spin a certain way to provide a percussive element, which I'll demonstrate. It's very easy to do, very simple to do, but it's it's kind of cool, it's a unique thing for the Gertie. And then uh, 
this drone string is just a drone string and it's a C. So I am an expert now, kind of, not really. <clears throat> um, now you see why they take so long to build, yeah. And this is all with just, you know, flat wood. It's, that's why it's boxy. And it's a lot cheaper uh, for having that shape. And that's what makes it an excellent beginner gird. The, the rest of the girds that you see that are all bent, you know, that's a lot of curved wood work that you have to do for that. Um, did you spend the entire day playing around yesterday? No, it was actually, uh, we went to Revolving Sushi to celebrate um, a friend's birthday, and that was awesome. We did some Diablo land party stuff, but I did play a little bit. I played a, a little bit around. Um, so, let's see. Let's. So right now I think everything is disengaged. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna kill this view right now. Hold on. Kill it. We don't really need that since I showed you guys the answer. And I can. Uh, just hold it. Nice. Tuning pegs on the side. Um, because it's new, new strings and all that, and it's it came from Oregon, which is probably a drastically different temperature than Texas right now. Um, it might require some retuning. We'll go ahead and tune it before we do anything. But essentially, like if you want to turn stuff off and on, this one doesn't really have an on-the-fly switch to turn off strings. The more expensive models do. But right now, if I spin it, you can't really see the wheel. Let me see. What, okay, what if I turn this back on then? I'm going to turn this back on. There you go. You can see my naked leg. I'm naked. No, I'm not naked. Um, there we go. Cool. So it spins. <clears throat> All right, so now if we turn on the, uh, the drone string here, we get sound. If you can hear it. That's our that's our lowest string, that's our C. And then if we pull this and have it uh, make contact with the wheel, we've got our trumpet, which is a G. And you can kind of hear if I do a quick flick of the wrist, it'll make like a buzzing. And that's just like a percussive thing that you can do. You don't have to do that. Um, but it's interesting. It gives you kind of rhythm while you're playing. Um, and then one melody string. Octave up. And then the second one, together, there's... It gives it kind of a more full sound. And then, all together. Nice. That sounds good, right? So much better than <laughs> that other one. Medieval AF. Um... Some other cool things before I try to start playing music, which, by the way, I haven't really done much. But um, And the thing for me that I need time to get used to is the positioning of the buttons so that I can, like, you know, even if I'm trying to figure something out, I can at least press the buttons in the right place to be like, uh, oh, that's that. That's that. No, that, that's this. Um, as far as the switches, these are like your... These are just your standard notes, like, without any sharps, flats. This is A, like, uh, actually, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it is A. Okay. So it just goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then your sharps and, and flats are these, which are, if you're thinking about it while you're playing, it's closer to you, but I consider it, like, below, right? And it's also lower. They're lower. So you have to, like, come down to play those those notes and that's something i'm having to to kind of get used to these are cool though these little pegs right here 
Uh, these are capos, actually. And if you're familiar with a capo on guitar, that lets you like change, change your key, basically. But these will just bump up the drone strings one whole note, one whole step. So you can just twist this, and now it's a... It's a whole step up. And then, ah, go back down. Nice. Um, nice, uterus. Bekasaurus Bex, 31 months. Welcome back. Hatsune Miku is best wife who, 34 months. Mick and Tosh, welcome back as well. It's awesome. It's very easy to get a delicious sound out of this thing. Um, now, the tricky part that I've been, I've done a little bit and tried to learn and get used to is um, just general maintenance of this thing. Like, you've got this cotton on the strings, if you can see that. The cotton gives it just, it softens the sound and it prevents the strings from just eventually ripping through the wheel. Legit question, how does it smell? Like fresh wood. And it's delicious. Yeah. It's like fresh wood. Yeah, like, mm, yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. Um, and so this is, this, the only thing, it, as far as like how I got a Gertie sooner than like we originally thought it was going to be like October. Um, I had my order in. It was an ETA nine months. And I messaged them. It was kind of funny because like three days before they messaged me back, I had messaged them. And I was like, hey, I've been really excited for the hurdy-gurdy. Just wanted to know, like, if there are any updates on when it's going to ship and this and that. And they got back to me, and they were like, yeah, uh, you're looking at, like, October. And I was like, okay. Um, and then, like, five days later, they were like, hey, we just had somebody who ordered one, the, the same model, um, basically cancel. They were like, they can't, they can't finish the payment on it right now. So, do you want it? And I was like, yes. It's as they say, the squeaky hurdy-gurdy wheel gets the rosin, right? They cancel on a gurdy. Well, they were just, they couldn't make the, the final payment on it. Um, and so I was like, yes, send me a gurdy. So the only difference is the sound holes. I chose some different sound holes. But if you're, honestly, if you ask me, I don't even remember what my sound holes were. And these are perfect. These look great. So... Um, no loss in getting an earlier, an earlier GERD. Uh, okay, so let's see. What have I been trying to do? I did... A, one thing I've noticed in doing some GERDing is that a lot of songs actually have a melody string or both or multiple that are an octave lower and so yes reverse dance is one of those so if i wanted to play that i could but the the melody string has to go up a whole octave and that, honestly it doesn't sound as as good because um well it's just like a nice lower smooth sound but what i've read is that you can get a viola string and replace a melody string like that. I messaged, I emailed them to be like, hey, is this a good idea? Can I do this? But I also ordered a viola string, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If, if, they, if I can, then probably what I'll do is I'll have one melody string be this higher G, and then I'll swap one for the viola string, and then we'll be able to do that lower stuff. And even some of the things that I was like, yes, I can play this, I, I just realized today it goes lower than I can. So we were listening to, yeah, this is from God of War Ragnarok, Sad Song, Gertie, Reb's Lament. The yellow strings sound very warm and sandy. No, I don't have to transpose it, just some stuff I do have to, though. So, uh, but this one, let me see. This one is without the C, I believe.
easy. If you do, do bends or vibratos, I'll show you mechanically. All the buttons are doing is pushing on the strings when you, when you press them like that. And if you just push it further, it'll just it'll create a bend. Just like a guitar. But yeah, it sounds exactly like it, right? Uh. Wait. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, not like a fretted instrument. Nope, it's, it's just like the string's just hanging out there. So, and that's also you've seen in the, I haven't tried it, but like. You know, you can just touch the string directly and, and create a note that way. Like Gilliam does in the, in the cicatrices, which uh, uh, that one is in a different. I started transposing one of his songs called Omen. Let me hear. He, this guy's like, you know, uh, a very advanced Gertie player. So to try and immediately start doing that stuff is a little interesting. But here's a song. This starts with a bunch of like improvisation. Also, he uses a lot of effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he'll send his signal and process it a bunch. That's the buzzing from the trumpet. But let me see here. That's called the drone library. Actually, there you go. He's still noodling. Where does he go into it? So this is in the different tuning, which I believe is G D. So this. Also, now that I'm listening to it, holy shit, like the percussion that he's doing with the, with the buzzing. Like, I, he's like, like he's. Maybe the, maybe that's just a product of him hitting those notes quickly, but I don't know. But anyways, this is a different key, but I started like... Oh. Like I started noodling around with some stuff like that to get that going. Um, and then there was like, what else was there? <laughs> it's not at all this instrument, but Howling Fjord. Uh, oops. Howling Fjord music from, from WoW. What was it? No. It's just like... Yeah, it's not this, but... Well, I, I don't remember because that's actually like one of the first things I did. And that was yesterday, but you can kind of create that sort of uh, that sort of effect and also um, learn to play the Titanic theme song on it. Northern Journey Gertie music. Is there actually Gertie music in Northern Journey or? Um, my hair is chroma key green. Yeah, it's green. Uh, it's not fully, but there's still green in there. So, <laughs> um. The, you know, this song is full of a bunch of songs. I mean, I mean, this book, this is a booklet that came with the Gertie, which, man, they've put a lot, a whole lot of work into onboarding you into Gertie, the land of Gertie. This is by the crafters. George um, is like the main guy who crafts the Gerties himself. Um, and Anwen is, is his wife. And they're both musicians and played in renaissance bands and all this stuff but this is full of 
songs, maintenance tips, and that sort of thing. But the songs are like Kumbaya and Jingle Bells, Yankee Doodle. And you're like, all right, that's cool, but like, it's as if um, this is the first instrument you're ever playing, and it's like, cool, but let's do some other stuff. Naughty Wyvern, 47 months, welcome back. Oh, actually, I did Thunderstruck. Let me see. I guess you'd have to... Oh, that's kind of hard. <laughs> that's weird, but yeah, anyways. The poor strings? Nope. Strings are good. Uh, <laughs> that's what you can do on guitar, yeah. Uh, metal riffs is just a good idea on this. So the tricky thing with trying to figure out what sort of song to play on this is that they're basically, if you're doing it solo anyways, there is no chord movement. Right, which, which, uh, you know, I think a lot of uh, I think about a lot of songs that just have kind of a droning, uh, singular note, and I'm like, okay, cool, and then, then they move. The there are fancier Gertie versions that allow you to have switches to turn on and off strings. Um, like I said, there is like capo stuff, but this one isn't really meant for on the fly, and. Uh, I think the instrument in, in general is kind of locked into whatever tuning you have. But I was like, hey, Bloody. Bloody uh, used to play cello. And she actually got one not long ago. Like, not like a super expensive one. Cellos are get absurdly expensive. Um, but it's like a very basic cello. And I was like, hey, you should learn some cello like for some moving bass line stuff because that would be good. Yeah, I have a buddy who was a like a studio musician cellist and his cello was like $120,000 or something like that that, <laughs> that uh, he was incredibly in debt for but that's how expensive they get and they get nuts nutties um, and I don't even think that's like you know that's just like a good one for being a studio musician um, sir uh, Simonka is eight months welcome at man is catalyst let's see Let me actually do it in a diff with a different drone string. Because if I'm thinking about it, I can start from that open note, but then I have to go lower. Oh. Yeah, see. But if I do the C, I can start up higher. But then there's a chord change, see? Na, na, na. There you go. Um, I got my instrument from Alterwind Instruments. Goofy on the lips. The cello, that cello can probably last his whole career if he takes care of it. Yeah, absolutely. A less bombastic bagpipe. All of the stuff together is super nice, though. It's just... It's got a delicious... Okay. Uh, what's up, AV? That's scrap. Can you play Megalovania? <laughs> um, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. One thing that I found as a complication, I tried doing some some quick uh, strummies with like multi like dude, this kind of thing, and that can actually dislodge the cotton that's wrapped around the string. And hold on, actually.
Um, but it, it's probably, I don't know, it could be a combination of newer strings and stuff. The door hinge technique has low end sound, just the low end. Yeah, you can turn off, oops. This is just the lowest string. And also, you know what? I think it should be louder. So we can troubleshoot. Actually. I'm not sure about the, the drone string, honestly. So they have these this cool design where can you even see okay if you've ever seen a violin the strings run over this little wooden thing that looks like this it's called a bridge and that holds the it it, it uplifts those strings and then it the strings go on from there to like the fretboard and stuff. well not fretboard but whatever it's called on a violin yeah so this is the bridge but what they have done which is really cool for this is only for the melody strings, but you can adjust the uh, um, action. You can adjust the action of them with this little Allen wrench, and this will lift or lower the string closer or away from the the wheel itself. So if you're getting issues because you've got really scratchy noise or you're not getting enough noise, then that could be. Um, part of the reason. And the wheel is like rosined up, and you never want to touch the wheel. So I'm not going to touch the wheel for you. Um, but yeah, it's super handy for these. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm like thinking that like the, the, that drone string seems a little light to the point that I'm like, oh, okay, I would fix it in this way, but I don't have that functionality. It's almost doing like a harmonic. And I think it should be louder, but maybe, yeah, maybe. Hey, what's up, Hurdy Birdy Gertie? Welcome. Yeah, I'd be ha love I would love to hear any sort of tips or anything that you've got uh, if you're a Gertie expert. Also like if so like if this is not making enough, should I isolate it and put some rosin on here or something? Um, isn't the capo engaged? It is not. No, the capo is here. It, to engage it, you point it up, and it'll push the string. Um, the other strings are resonating a little. No, they're not playing when I do this. It's like, it's very lightly touching the... That's the only string that's engaged, is the drone right now. Caution, girder and chat. Usually I have to futz around with those three things to get the right balance. Okay. I haven't, I've been, I don't want to over resin it, but here's, or rosin rather. So, here's rosin. You use this on like violin strings and stuff, any, any bowed instrument to get it to create this friction that'll give it that, that resonance that you're looking for. So I'm going to do a little bit of rosin here and we crank. Maybe a little bit better. Um, if you over it'll sound scratchy to start, but it will come off. Okay, okay, that's good to know. We'll do that for now. Louder with the lid closed? Yeah, I don't know. It's shooting the sound out. Actually, well, that's not even the microphone. I was like, it's shooting it at the camera, but that's not where the microphone is, so. Them sound holes, baby. Builds up all the sound, and then the sound explodes out the sound holes. Uh, in any case. Uh, let's see. What I need to do is just, like, learn a couple of scales, which, I mean, you can do, like, an easy major scale. I also need to get used to going up and down, up and down while like moving your hand, like the guitar hero thing, you know, or guitar thing. But if you're, 
if you're not a musician and you played Guitar Hero, well, I guess that's not even that much because there's only five notes, I think. Um, it resonated made an impact for Sheezy. Yeah. Yeah, it'll make an impact overall. Um, and then as far as I know, like, you can rosin for individual strings in order to, like, saturate the cotton a bit so that it only, well, not only affects, but mostly affects that one string. Um, here's with all the strings on. And that's the trumpet. So this is actually reverse from guitaring in terms of if I go pinky to index finger on a guitar, that's going down in pitch. Whereas with this, to go up, you go pinky to index finger. So the direction is reverse, but like, you know, the, the dexterity of fretting and stuff is... Uh, As a lot of you put rosin on the string before you put cotton on it to get it to stick better. I did that as well, but I guess uh, what I said is just completely wrong. Okay. <laughs> rosin up your gertie and play your gertie hard. Thank you. Um, yeah, so like some of the... It feels like, at least, when I get like to some notes up here where there are a bunch of um, sharps or flats, uh, it feels like some of the, let me look at it actually. Some of the, like s these smaller pegs almost are directly below. And so instead of doing kind of a natural, like up, 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 it's like at a certain point and then it's like down, uh, down, down, like the same distance, but. Um, but yeah, that's the Gertie. Again, I, I, uh, wait, hold on. There was, there was one song that I was doing. Oh yeah, it was, uh, let me see. Yeah, the one we were listening to right at the beginning. But I, I haven't learned it. I just, I can kind of fiddle around with it. There we go. Sounds like a string version of a bagpipe? Yeah! Did not come with a little monkey with a hat and a tin cup? No, no, that comes separately. Can I run Doom on it? Close enough. Whatever. <laughs> can't play rip and tear on that one? No. No, I can't do that. On low settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crank and tear. You expect a less boxy instrument? That's because a lot of hurdy-gurdies with shaped wood are more expensive. This is an entry-level gird. It still uh, was, I think, $1,100. Um, but it works exactly the same. Um, and it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Uh, so if you want to... So it, as far as the hurdy-gurdies that they have, the difference between this and then the next step up, which is curved wood, it's also got other features. Uh, it was like 1100 and the next one was like, I think 1600 or maybe 1800. Um, but yeah, 1100 of handcrafted wood is solid. Uh, did you hear Frank and Tear? Something like that. Um, no, I think there's like two. I, I don't. I don't know how many um, reputable hurdy gurdy crafters, craftsmans there are. Maybe you could have done a sponsorship. Well, I got not as a somebody who's never played a hurdy gurdy, but I mean maybe, 
Maybe maybe we could have done the thing, but it doesn't matter. Maybe when I become a hurdy gurdy god, then I can be like, hey, give me your best gurdy. And then when they give it the worst name possible, it's memorable, right? Illicit bootleg gurdy man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was it that one? Yeah. No. Was it? Was it with the C or the G? Oh, yeah. There we go. This is the one from God of War. Something like that. But then at that point in the song, it goes down, and I don't have enough notes. So when I get, when I get, actually, um, we're crying short blue tears. If, uh, if our Gertie expert, actually... <laughs> If there's a, the best entry level gurdy is called the Hurdy Gurdy Basic. It's shipped from Europe, but usually comes in under 1K after shipping to NA. Ooh, nice. This is the one that I found, and but I, I really like this one. So I don't, I don't know what the differences are, blah, 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 blah. I don't have experience with all that. But this one is serving me nicely. Um, what made you decide to start learning Hurdy and Gurdy? Found the instrument a few months ago and now need to listen to some pieces every week. So I've always wanted to for many years, and I'm the kind of, I mean, I've been, I've been, in, uh, a mus I've been a musician since I was three. I, le I started learning piano by ear, and I always wanted to just like pick up every instrument and learn some of it and some of it and some of it. And then when we were playing God of War Ragnarok, and they had a whole feature of a hurdy-gurdy, I was like, this is my calling. So, and, uh. They have like Bear McCreary's character just like cranking on a hurdy gurdy there, and I was like, "Yes, um, oh yeah." I, that that was I listen, We listened to him on stream a lot, Han and Burrow, actually. Uh, if you're buying from the U.S., you're very likely to happen upon Alter One first, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. So I was like, "Get a hurdy gurdy." <laughs> Andre is awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, like I said, there's. Uh, in attempting to cover some of his songs, that's when I realized, like, oh, I really want, like, a lower string. Hurdy Birdy Gertie, do you know if I go and swap one of these G4 melody strings? Oh, this is coming off. If I just slap on a viola G3, will that be fine? Or will the... the tension be off or something because that's what I want to do so I can play some of these lower register melodies because otherwise you know you all know reverse dance we, we play it all the time and it's uh, it's this one right Right, but because of the difference in the in the octave, I think it kind of depends on the instrument. A lot of lower girdies have a longer scale length. Okay, uh, well, I, I emailed them regardless to see what they think, um, what I could do. And maybe if it does, even if they say it doesn't work, maybe I could just try it. And if it doesn't work out, well, crap. But I want to give it a shot, anyways, because to play that on this, yeah, like the drone is good, right? But then. Right? 
I can do that. Dun, 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 dun. I'm already out of notes because I have to go lower. But I could learn it up an octave. I mean, I'm not good at quick noting yet, so that's something that I really got to learn how to do, but... <laughs> Whatever. But I can't even start to learn it because it doesn't sound right, and I'm like, you know what? Although, if I learn it an octave up, and then I just swap on the new string, and it works, then, like, boom, we've got it. But, yeah, that's different. You hope I get a theremin next. You know, theremin's not one I've ever wanted to own myself. Um, it sounds more like a nickel harpa. Nickel harpa is awesome. Um, and it's also a bowed instrument, but you actually use a bow and not a wheel. I feel like Sea Shanty OST would be good on this. Um, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Black Sails theme next. There's a Witcher song that that features Hurdy Gurdy, right? Like, uh, let me see here. Witcher 3, Hurdy Gurdy. Oh, I've definitely searched this before. Um, Ladies of the Woods. Let's see, Ladies of the, Ladies of the Wood. Mm-hmm. Glass harmonica, yeah. You see numbers in my hair? Shit. Well, I guess you could... I don't know that... I don't think that's a Gertie, but you could do, definitely do that. But again, again, the melody is, is so much lower. Like, it doesn't work. But... That kind of thing. It'd be higher. Um, but again, I really need to like figure out how to smoothly do like, you know, eighth notes or faster notes. Punky 10 Ruby, 71 months. Welcome back. Yeah, it's not great, but a lot of people did covers of this. Um, and it works because it's like a drone, single drone with a melody on top. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot to tune this at the beginning because uh, these are newer strings and all that. But, um, yeah. If you guys have suggestions for Gertie songs, I would love to have just like a list that I can work through and be like, hmm, yeah, this would be good. And then, then I can learn these songs and then... Um, maybe put them into my repertoire for when, when I play it at Renfest and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I need a lot of hours of practice. But, uh, but we'll get there. Sea of Thieves has adapted a ton of music to the Gertie. Really? Oh, I know Sea Catrices. Don't worry about that. But that's like, that's also not very non-traditional Gertie stuff, which is fine. But like, um, he, he's also got a very advanced GERD and a loop pedal and all this other stuff, which... I would like to eventually. I'd like to eventually stuff. I did not build this. No, I built. This. With a kit. Yeah, sitting in a chair like this is kind of weird with the Gertie, but it's okay. One more time for comparison. Here's what the, the GERD that we built sounds like. It's beautiful, though. This is a U Gears kit you can get off Amazon or whatever, and it, it, it functions, but it uses fishing line for the strings and the cotton. I expected as much from the. We didn't do the cotton very well, but. Well, 
That's cool. It's a DIY kit. And uh, for being 60 bucks and what it is, uh, and mostly being a puzzle, not necessarily a functioning instrument, which it does function, but it's, it's awesome. Um, I wonder if it would sound good with real strings. It would, I think it would sound better. Uh, but just again, as a comparison, also there's only two strings, but here we go. It's also very hard to hold and keep in place. All right, it's ama uh, Amazing Grace. All right. And honestly, this Gertie can sound like that if you let the strings get out of out of, out of whack, but compared to nice, nice, the difference, right? The difference. All right, well, that's going to do it for the Hurdy Gurdy show off. I want to go learn a bunch of songs and uh, just get better at the instrument. I could noodle around on it all day, um, but we won't really get anywhere without some solid practice. So let me. 